everybody. So this is going to be a pretty quick video. I've been doing a couple of these sort of comparison videos. I did the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate versus the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra. I've done, although I'm not sure it's up yet, I've done the Chanel Le Beige's Highlighting Fluid versus the Chanel Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops. And now I'm going to do two blushes that are marketed as highlighting blushes or illuminating blushes. One of them is the Sicily, this is the Orchid. Well, actually it's in French, it's La Orchide. That's, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do it justice. Rose 2, and it's in beautiful Sicily packaging. And the other is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. This is just came out. Natasha Denona obviously has her blush palette and the blush palette and the love palette. I don't actually have either one. And interestingly enough, Natasha Denona, I have practically every eye palette that she's done, but I do not have the blush palettes. And I've heard amazing things about the Bloom and the Love palettes. So I decided to dip my toe in the water by getting the highlighting blush that just came out in the little mini to see how I liked it and then decide whether I want to go ahead and invest in the larger palette. So I'm going to do the Sicily on the right and I'm going to do the Natasha Denona on the left. I already have on a full face of makeup that I did for the Chanel Le Beige's video which hopefully will be up already or will be up very soon. If you want to see how I got this look, I little hint, it's a really pretty collection. So let's go ahead and get started. That is the Sicily and it's the Rose. And it's a really nice soft formula. It feels nice on the cheek. It definitely gives a nice highlight. Excuse the brown mark on my hand. That's the shade. And I'm using a Chikahoto cheek brush to put, I'm going to use the same brush for both sides. So that's a very pinky rose color. It works really well on my skin tone. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. I love it. I've had it for a little bit of time. I haven't used it in any videos before. I don't know why, but I haven't. But I got this idea when I ordered the Natasha Bloom Highlighting Blush. I was like, oh, well, the Sicily one is also considered a highlighting blush. I think this comes in three shades, the Sicily. I only have it in the rose. Now I need to buy the other shades because I love this one so much. I'm waiting for a sale or, I don't know, I'm, I'm waiting for something. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona. Now the Natasha Denona one picked up a lot more pigment on my brush, just so you know, which is interesting, than the Sicily. It seems like a peachier color. Definitely more pigmented. So this is the Natasha Denona Bloom, Sicily Rose. I look very lopsided, but it's all for you. Yeah, I think the, the Bloom definitely has more of a peachy, You can see this is the Sicily. This is the Natasha Denona. It's definitely more, I don't want to say neon because that's not what I mean, but it certainly has a much more pigmented, shinier, reflective highlight, like a, a stronger highlight than the Sicily. The Sicily is much more subdued it is more of a slight rosy pink subtle kind of I have a flush look 
the Natasha Denona is definitely more of a blush. You know, it's got, it's definitely more pigmented. It, it add a beautiful highlight to them. I think they're both gorgeous. They're definitely different formulas. The Natasha Denona picked up a lot stronger. I had a lot more that came up on the brush. It is more pigmented. It has more of a glimmer, more of a shine to it. It is more of a peachy, almost mango color. It's very pretty. Whereas the Sicily is a rose. I think the Sicily does have a shade that's that's probably a little bit more like this, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll put it in the notes if I um, can find it. But both definitely are highlighting blushes and have that subtle highlight to them. The Natasha Denona is more obvious, a little bit more, more of a pop. And the Sicily is more subtle, but I think they're both beautiful. I think it just depends on what you're looking for. And right now, the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush comes in the little mini that I showed you that you can buy if you're willing, you know, if you're interested in learning more about her formulas and you don't want to buy the entire palette. This is a great way to, to get to know her blush and see if you like it. I mean, so far, I think it looks really, really pretty. Both work on my skin tone. I think the Natasha Denona would work best for somebody who has a darker skin tone. I think the Sicily may be a little too subtle for people who have a darker, like a much darker skin tone than mine. Well, everyone has a darker skin tone than mine. I'm just like translucent, but it is, it is relatively subtle. So really dark skin tone, it might not, it might not show up, but the Natasha Denona definitely would. You could definitely build that. You can say it. Yeah, I, but I like them both. They're both beautiful highlighters, um, highlighting blushes. So I will say that I love them both. I love them both. The Natasha Denona Bloom is much less expensive. I think it's like $25. I'm not absolutely sure. I think it's like $25, whereas the Sicily is quite a bit more. I don't remember exactly what the price point was because when I did buy it, it was on sale. So. I don't want to mislead you, but I will put it down below when the, I'm making the comments so you know. But I would say both are gorgeous. Both give you a beautiful blush and highlight. There you go. Different, but but equally gorgeous. So no fails today. I haven't had any fails in a while. I don't know if I'm just buying the things that I, <laughs> I just already think I'm going to like or what, but so far everything has worked out really well. So. If you like this video, if you like the compares that I've been doing, I can continue doing them with all different kinds of things. Let me know if there's things you want me to compare. I also did a, of a mascara compare as well. So if there are things that you're interested in, let me know. I am gonna be doing a bunch of new products, reviews that are coming out soon. I just did the Chanel Le Beiges, and I've got a giveaway coming up really, really soon that I think you all will be very interested in. So hopefully you'll continue to tune in to, to watch the videos, not only just for the giveaway, but for uh, new content. And uh, it, like if you like these videos, subscribe if you're willing to. It helps grow the channel. I've only just started a month ago, so it's great to have all of you joining me. And uh, I'll see you all again in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.